deck video for you guys so before I get started I know I don't usually post on a Wednesday but I wanted to do a deck video because I feel like my last couple sets of videos have just all been reactions and discussion videos so I thought I'd you know run another deck and it is a new season uh, unfortunately the season is still being uh, sworn by a bunch of status nilf guard if anything you're just seeing more status nilf guard than anything else because honestly like all of the other factions like Squaretel and um, Northern Realms got a way bigger nerf than Nilfgaard did, so Nilfgaard is just becoming even more powerful in this case, so I just thought I'd run a bit of a uh, meme deck for today. Uh, so this is the all neutral deck, uh, I never thought about doing this until like just a couple days ago. I didn't know why it took me this long to think about one, but um, I'm finally coming around to it. So, the all neutral deck, is, this is obviously a deck that you're not going to want to run in meta, obviously. Um, I just thought I'd just make it just for the fun of it just because why not uh, the 100 subscriber video is still coming But like I said, I just wanted to do a deck video for today. Uh, it's still coming out tomorrow. So on Thursday uh, The 100 subscriber special and uh, that's where I'll discuss sort of everything about this channel who I am and where I plan on going with this channel Anyway, so we are running so the um, Leader I chose to do was tactical decision because I feel like tactical decision doesn't have um, any particular it doesn't have an ability that's very particular to like a certain archetype or a certain um, the keyword or stuff like that um, It's very not common, but it's like, you know, it doesn't uh, matter with assimilate. It doesn't matter with um, What am I thinking of stat? Oh so then Again, it's kind of uh, Relevant, but at least it's not a card like it's not an ability like um Like spawning the dead eye, the dead eye trap of uh, the elven dead eyes, you know, you, you kind of get I hope you guys know what I'm trying to say but yeah, plus it's the highest provision cost, uh, highest provision cap, so I just went with it. Anyway, so we are running Dandelion Poet, Gontoro Dim. I gotta have Gontoro Dim in here because, uh, as I've been saying a long, a lot of times, he is my favorite character from The Witcher 3 games. Um, Iris Shade is here because the, my bronze cards are really re uh, relying on armor a lot, uh, so that's why I have Iris Shade as a card as a sort of finisher for, let's say, for the last turn. If, let's say, the Wagon Bird has been boosting up, like, it's um, adjacent units by a lot of armor. Uh, Irish Shade can just pick up all that armor and turn it into power. Uh, we got Gascon, which can potentially spawn a bandit, a bandit that can give armor. Uh, it could have a barricade ability. It could be another wagon bird. No, not wagon bird. Sorry, bandit. Uh, it could have artifact removal in case any opponent wants to throw an artifact. Um, so Gascon has that flexibility. I added in Geralt R because I needed some sort of uh, damage and sort of a way to attack Rolock units. Well, melee Rolock units. Because um, I can't touch the Rolock units. I mean, I can damage them, but I can't like disrupt their ability. Uh, but he is here. Um, I also have Esco Pathfinder. I do need some sort of en uh, self-boosting engine that I can have. Obviously, it's going to get destroyed by status Nilfgaard, which, like I said, it's not a meta deck at all. It just gets too easily countered. Um, Ata, always a very reliable card. Good thing they didn't really touch her at all. She definitely was not as broken as Medea is. Uh, I got Francis Bedlam, sort of, it's pretty much the neutral Hawker Smuggler. Well, not necessarily because it boosts the lowest unit in your hand by one, but the longer he stays, the more power he gets. Uh, I added in the Skellige Storm, just in case you come across any Swarm decks uh, during this um, deck guide and gameplay. So being able to damage them all by one for two turns can be pretty great. Uh, you got Dala and Moonrite, which are very... I wouldn't say they're underrated, but they're actually pretty strong because... See, it's not easy to get to get rid of six power. It actually isn't. Um, unless you play it on its own and an opponent comes up with an assassinate. Because even if you lock these guys, it doesn't matter because it doesn't take away their name. Because it, the deployability is if you have their name, then you can spot this ability. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, next, you got the musician to Blaviken. You know, you if you can high roll that resilience to for carry over for the next round, actually that'd be pretty great. Uh, the rest of these are pretty much support for the bandits. So you got Armor's Workshop, which gives armor, which can trigger that barricade. Um, Caravan Vanguard, not so much. This is more for swarm. Um, if I do need some units to activate Armor's Workshop on, let's say all my bandits are dead, uh, Caravan Vanguard is there for that. Uh, I added in one A Rush just because I wanted to give this new card a try because it has been reworked. Um, it is, and it's also a pretty strong card, so... But it is pretty vulnerable to tall removal, so that's something we have to be careful of. Next, we got Mantlet. Mantlet is, again, a good support for your armor. Uh, Armor-based cards. Wagonburg for giving up all that armor. Uh, Iron Falcon is which is our armor engine. Uh, we got Iron Falcon Troubadour, which gives off two armor. It could be good if your opponent dry passes, or if um, you're going second, you just need to set up. And last but not least, we got Wagon. 
Again, extra armor. Um, not, not, there's not too much to it to this deck. There is a bit of synergy with the armor, but other than that, everything else is kind of like, not a high roll or low roll, because, I mean, the Dalla and Runeret are high roll or low roll. But, uh, I just wanted to give all neutrals a try just to see how it would work out. We will do one unranked game and one ranked game to see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, other than that, let's get straight to it. Okay, so we are gonna do the unranked game first, and we are playing against one of the rebooked abilities that I ambush. This could be a Vernacio triggered ability. Man, my hand is disgusting. Like, not good disgusting. Um, we got Iron Falcon, which isn't so bad. We can have, we can keep these two around, which is good. Uh, Wagenberg, oh, I think one will be enough. We don't need two. Yeah, I like Geralt Bard, actually. So, this might be Swarm Elves, which actually works pretty well in our favor, considering we have Geralt that we're going to be working with, and Eskil as well. Um, Eskil is not a card you want to play early, because yes, I know you'll be missing out a lot of points if you don't play him early, but it'll also convince your opponent to want to play some really high damage output or um, tall removal cards to get rid of him. So, the timing of when you want to play cards is actually super important as well, because it's as much of a reactive game as it is a proactive game. T-Bolt. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so I'll be starting off with this Troubadour. I uh, wonder if this is a hand boost to Sheldon Skaggs. It could be. If that's the case, then this card is pretty much useless. But honestly, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. We could go ahead and actually play our Caravan Vanguard combo here. Percival Schutenbach. Interesting. That's yeah, fine. I don't care. Just don't. Um. I mean, regardless of where he goes, he's pretty much a six power. I think I'll put him in the range row though, in the off chance that the opponent might have a chance to remove him. You guys are wondering what music this is? This is Witcher Two. Music from The Witcher Two. So. I just sort of went to a random soundtrack, like in the middle of the, in the middle of the video, in the middle of the um, soundtrack. Uh, let me actually move myself forward. I kind of want to find a place where I can keep my camera consistent, like at all times. So he's ahead, but actually not by as much as we initially thought. If you control a copy, that's not be in the same row, right? Yeah, because I'm already all cut up and I haven't even done that much yet. See, this is actually a pretty good scenario, uh, situation for, um, what do you call it? For Wagenberg, I should say. Wagenberg, yeah. Because I'm making, able to make copies. I really want to play Gaunter on this, but I'm, I'm afraid he has something like Nature's Rebuke or something. Because I kind of want to play him now. I'll probably play him on the Mahakam Defender, if anything. Still thinking. Yeah, you will, actually we'll play. Yeah, we'll play him on Mahakam Defender because he's just gonna keep getting boosted. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, we'll see. Actually, no, no. I hard decision to make, right? Um, I think because of yeah, no. Actually, I think Percival is a bit more of a higher priority because he gets two value per turn potentially. And if we destroy the dwarf, he just needs to summon another one, and he gets that value back. So if he can, if he destroys it, then we. I think I have to pass. At least he's not roll locked. If he was roll locked, he'd be dead. Ah, oh, he had a lock. Okay, that's fine. I don't have purify. That kind of sucks. That's all right. No problem. Um, I think we can just pass here. I mean, we could play armor's workshop. I don't have a purify. It's kind of a pity, but that's all right. I do want to- I mean, I don't know if I can even push him anymore, because I don't have a really big- I mean, I do have Geralt Ard, which is a decent finisher, so I can say he were to pass. Because this would take me up to, what, 28? No, yeah, 28, and then 31. No, we'd be tied. No, that's not good. Yeah, we're gonna pass. 15 points is, I think, is just a bit too much. He committed quite a bit, actually. He had to commit uh, Ciaran and Percival. Well, those aren't really big commitments considering how insanely powerful Square Tell is, so... Because Vernacio's still coming. Okay, King of Beggars here is nice. I don't know if we need two of them, though. Two of these, I mean. Uh, how do I feel about a wagon here? I, I need this guy's partner to come out. Otherwise, we're, we are going to have problems. Get rid of this. 
us. Okay, Mata, will that will Mata get us? No, he gets us poet. Oh, actually, getting us poet isn't so bad. Now, if he passes, I have no idea. So, I mean, he can't bring back Percival now, but that didn't really matter. I was hoping to take him out early. Yeah, I guess that's where Purify. Having Purify was good there, actually. I probably should have put in a Peller. But it's alright. I don't think he... Yeah, he's not going to regret that. Okay, so I think we should play Francis here, to be honest. I don't have a source of boosting, but... Even if he just... I mean, it's going to boost either a Wagenberg or a Geralt. It's our Geralt. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I have to play a card, right? Uh, uh, that doesn't matter too much, actually. Only problem is we don't have a boost. It's okay. He's getting off two points. Which is actually good enough for me. Mm, do we want to play Iron Falcon? Cause yeah, I think I think I want to play Iron Falcon here. So now he kind of has to play. I mean, he doesn't have to prioritize. But if he uh, doesn't destroy either one, then I'm gonna start armoring them up with um, the Wagenberg. Oh, he gets his own copy. Didn't think he'd be running a hand gate sword. That's fine. He only gets five turns of the Bedlam anyway, so it's not too much of a problem for me. I think we play Matan now. I think we'll Poet into the Blaviken. He might be saving this for Vernasiel, actually. Yeah, I, I can see that. Or the Great Oak. Actually, the Great Oak's still gonna be a big problem. Yeah, the Great Oak's gonna be a very big problem. And I have no means of stopping it. I don't have the Skellige Storm, so that wouldn't even matter too much. But to be honest, Geralt Art actually works decently well with the Skellige Storm because you can force a bunch of units to go into the range row, and then uh, Skellige Storm can go ahead and just damage every single one of them. Wow, this guy's, this guy's running a deck as... Crazy as I am. Impenetrable fog, huh? Interesting. Well, I mean, he's gonna lose his armor, so it is what it is. Um, I guess we play poet here. We have to build up tempo. Irish shade, but that don't matter too much. Um, I guess we play Pathfinder, right? Because he's going to get boosted per turn. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. I uh, But I think he has more movement though, which can actually mess me up. So if he has more movement, then he's got me there. It does seem like I'm committing a bit, but honestly, I still have decent cards. Like I still have... I need to get Dull out here though. Dulla needs to come out. If I can 25, if I can high roll that resilience, that'd be pretty great. Other than that, there's not really much else I can hope for. Well, he'll be going down to four if I use Ard. That's fine. Uh, we'll deploy this. Give me resilience. No, it's poison. Okay, that's fine. I mean, the problem with this is because poison is so common nowadays. That's gonna be tough. Because of how common poison is nowadays. Great. I mean, we're still ahead by a lot, so I'm not too worried. It's a trap. Alright, I'll play Armor's Workshop, actually. Actually, I kind of want to wait. Oh, I feel like if I play this, it could get... No, 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 hold on. Pitfall Trap got changed, right? Dang. That sucks, actually. I, I forgot. Yeah, Incinerating Trap is a card still. <laughs> actually, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, if this is another one, I'm not playing a unit. Is he just trying to bleed me? I think he's trying to bleed me at this point. There we go. Get all that armor off. At least I have a un at least I have a target for Irish Shade. That's really what matters there. <laughs> he has a lot of traps. I wonder I wonder if he knows what ability this is nowadays. <laughs> I don't know if he knows what ability he's running here. Okay, I have no Irish Shade target now. That kinda sucks. 
So he is just trying to straight up bleed me, huh? I guess we'll arc. I just made uh, the Great Oak stronger with this play. Yeah, he, he just he's just trying to bleed me here at this point. Is this the horn? No, this can't be the horn of Mahakam. You wouldn't play it there. I still don't think that's that's not even gonna be enough. So he tried playing traps. Very strange version of it. So is he gonna play all of this? I mean if he does this, it's gonna force me to play my tactical decision. Irish Shade here is actually useless now because all my armor's been taken off. So, I play Iris here, I think it's fine. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, we'll pass. Iron Falcon Trooper. Wow, now all my armor cards are coming. Now it's kind of useless. I need this guy's partner though. Eh, it's not so bad actually. I mean, we'd be 50 50 ing that dollar. I will do this. Okay, that's fine. I want Manolet actually. Let's see what he does here. No great oak yet, I'm surprised. So I guess that um, Francis was buff buffing that dryad the whole time. He's playing a bunch of artifacts. That's insane. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, he's only gonna be three value, so that's not so much for me. Do this. The good thing with armor is it blocks off some of the damage from, let's say, like a great oak. Wow, he's running. Is this unitless? This is like un this is unitless square tile. That's crazy. Shade because I was kind of I kind of valued Dulla and Rune right over and I didn't even get it. Okay, Fine. I didn't even get it. That's okay. I think this is still okay. Okay, jeez. Now we're gonna do something even crazier and we're gonna go into rank play with this. This is gonna be insanity. So this is this is this is definitely a um, a siege. This is definitely siege. Like I don't even need to like think about it. I know it's siege. Uh, we'll dip. Well, I like both of you out here. Uh, do I really though? That's fine. So I'm expecting a care a ballista no sorry a care ballista opening a mantlet but this is definitely siege like it's not even a question <laughs> not even a question I need to do all my setting up in the first round in the off chance that he tries to bleed me I have to be ready for it and what's even worse about this is uh, I'm my um. A lot of their units are ranged locked, so it's like it doesn't even matter. Right. Uh, I guess we'll get both Iron Falcons off. I swear, if you're running Lambert, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry if you run Lambert. I really will. We could Irish Shade that, to be honest. We really could. We could even Irish Shade that Redanian Archer. Um, I mean, if his bronzes are going to be our bronzes at one go. So we will poet here, but I think I might want to play one of my infantry. 
again, I don't care if he gets a sword. Like, again, this is like, I don't know. I'm not like, this is exactly the this exact same deck from the last meta. Like, I've seen decks that run mobilization. Now people are running mobilization because pincer maneuver is no longer an option, you know? So it's like, yeah, you guys can tell I'm not happy with this meta. I really am not. Let's play Wagenberg in there, actually. So we're still keeping up, which isn't bad, actually. Kinda okay with this. Like he need like he's not really making like big plays. Again, because he's not committing a lot. Um Mata gets me out is it Ard or is it Yeah, it's it's either Ard or it's Gaunter. Actually no or Gas No, it's Ard, it's Ard. No no Ard is ten, never mind. It's a, it's Ard Gaunter or Gascon. That's crazy actually. That was a lot. Uh, we could Irish Shade, to be honest. We really could. I'm just thinking if we actually should, though. Should we try the Dulla and Rune Right combo? He's not going to be able to destroy it. We could Irish Shade, actually. Let's Irish Shade. I mean, we'll be tied. But, uh, yeah. That's fine. Uh, but no, you're not gonna be tied. He's gonna keep getting boosts. Oh, well. That's fine. We would need to play a card after, though. That's the problem. We just need to play a card after. Well, I mean... He, we could make it a tie round one so that he's not guaranteed to get everything because if he passes and then i pass right after it's gonna be tied so we're gonna have a shorter round and he's not gonna be because there's a chance he might not even be able to get siege out of it so who knows right but let's see how much he really wants this round it seems as he's keeping my uh bear my soldiers alive or my uh infantry alive This isn't a Super Redea, is it? I mean, it could be. But I mean, if you're running that, then that's pretty expensive. Okay, so he's decided to go ahead and just play that. Cursed Knight. Not a huge threat, I don't think. Uh, do I want to play the Armorer's Workshop right now? I'll be at 34. Could play the the brothers because it, it could make him want to pass actually. No, we'll actually do this. If he passes, we have to play that other engine, which sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, I get he wants to win round one, but <laughs> Kira Mets. All right, that's that's pretty good actually. Now he's getting three power per turn. That's insanity. Do I want to draw Mata here? So 44 to 41. I mean, we'll be getting Gascon, Gaunter, or Ard. I think we just go with Dala and Rune right here, actually. I think we should. I know it's he gets three turns per, but like, we, we gotta do it. That's what I thought. This is gonna be crazy. I don't know what this is gonna get us. Gaunter! <laughs> Gaunter Odim! Oh my goodness. That is insane. We got Gaunter Odim. Dang. Alright. That's fine. That's actually fine. That's actually pretty crazy. I'm surprised. So here comes the siege. Um, I think we have to get Mata off. Because honestly, our best chance right now is we have, we have to get a card advantage. That's really our best chance of winning. Card advantage. Nope, not you. Okay, I like Ard. Now our chance of drawing Gascon is higher. 
You don't need. I don't, I don't like. I, I actually don't like having. I don't like those. Um, what do you call it? Drawing it for each other. He hasn't shown me siege. Oh, he showed me two sieges. So this is probably still siege. It could also be drought. I get why Kira Metz was in this deck because she's much cheaper now and Philippa got more expensive. So you can tell he didn't commit a lot. I committed quite a bit actually, but you know, I still have some. Okay, I don't need you anymore. I, did, I withdrew your partner, unfortunately. I should have saw so bad. Now I'm just thinking is this gonna be. This has to be Siege, right? It has to be. So that means I have to draw Gascon like now. The Royal Guard. That's fine. But yeah, I have to draw Gascon right now. And I and I have to I have to try and draw my uh I have to try and get artifact removed from him. That's really my only chance of winning at this point. I have to try and get artifact removed. If I don't, then that's kinda of, I think it's GG. So plenty of good cards left. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, it's it's so predictable. It's really predictable, this meta. I really hate it. <laughs> I really hate how predictable this meta is, honestly. Like, let's be honest, it's pretty predictable and I don't like it. But at the same time, what can we do, right? So, couldn't get the card that I want. You never I never really do. Do we want to play this right now? I don't see a reason to, to be honest. Because once that bombardment goes off, it's kind of GG. Eh, you know, we'll just do it. Uh, it's going to be Esco, actually. So at least we have some boost. As long as he's kept alive. I mean, he doesn't have poison. There's no ways... He could have Bloody Baron, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, Bloody Baron's a thing. Bloody Baron is a thing. Okay, well there's this removal. Which is actually fine by me. We play Matlet now. Yeah, we play Matlet now. He has yet to play a bombardment. This is crazy. And it's gonna hurt. This bombardment is gonna hurt. Unless he hits all armor, then I'm okay with it. But at this point, it's kinda useless, right? And there's Bombardment. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's, uh, I'm really unimpressed with this meta. I really am. I'm so bored of it. Like, this is so unnecessary. We need to kill one of them with Contour again. Actually, no, he has that Kira, he has that Ballista. We need to play another unit to, um, Did get last say true, but no point really. So. I mean, they have a lot of armor with it, so that's not so bad. Well, there's Mata. Who do I get out of it? Wagon? Yeah, I get a wagon out of it. And I got rid of Iris Shade. Actually, I should value Iris Shade more, to be honest. I really should value Iris Shade more. Okay, now I can Gonzo here. Yeah, because he doesn't run big units. He just, I mean, if he has a Kudak, then we're kind of doomed. Well, we're not kind of doomed. We are doomed. <laughs> we are doomed. Aradea? Really? Interesting. We still run Aradea, huh? This is probably going to be for that one six. This is real. This is for that unsays. What else could it be for, right? I mean, my last few cards here are kind of useless. So, so I... it's so predictable. Oh my goodness. These, these, this meta is so predictable. It's not even. Double dozen points, like come on. <laughs> like I'm just really not that impressed at this point. 
But I mean, I'm also running a main deck, so I guess what it is. So it's just a matter of. Hmm. What are his last three cards? Okay, Bloody Baron is one. That's fine, honestly. That that's why Adrenaline Rush in its new state is still pretty bad, especially against Northern Realms because of that Bloody Baron. Yeah, so you guys can tell how un not unhappy, but like how you know how indifferent I am about this meta. I'm very indifferent because even if I were playing a legit um, a legit meta deck, it uh, it makes really no difference regardless. So. Plus, my last two cards are just disgusting. <laughs> They're like, we're really bad disgusting, too. Valibor, yeah. And then your last card's gonna be either Philippa or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, no, my mistake actually with running a deck like this is I should really valuing. I should really be valuing um, Irish Shade more. I really should. So that was a mistake on my part. Oh, this last card's on six, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be on six. Otherwise, why run Engineering Solution? Yeah, because Philippa is way too much at this point. But yeah, no, very uh, unsurprised. Yeah, he, look at look at the point difference. He absolutely covered me. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna take the L, obviously, because I'm not gonna be able to win. Uh, hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, but I just thought I'd play it out on rank, you know, just to see you guys, just to show you guys how completely predictable this uh, meta really has become. Um, hopefully some changes get made in like a hotfix or in a future because I'm, I might not be playing a lot of meta decks at all because honestly, you guys have already seen them. Just look at the meta the guides that I've played in the last season or in the la in last month because they're almost exactly the same. The only difference is the provision is different. So yeah. Uh, this is the all neutral deck uh, deck list. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more great content. The 100th subscriber video is still coming out. So other than that, this is Enzo signing out and I'll catch you guys in the next one.